Well, let me read a verse of scripture for you. Um, it is found in the Song of Solomon. And it's an amazing verse. It says this, the flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come and the voice of the turtle is heard in our land. Song of Solomon 2.12, the flowers appear on the earth. The time of the singing of birds is come and the voice of the turtle or turtle dove is heard in our land. Now, often when we, when we get ready to come into the month of May, um, there's a saying that April showers bring May flowers. Uh, the rains of April prepare the soil for flowers to come in the month of May. So May is Mother's the day, the, the, the month of Mother's Day, where we generally give have flowers. Flowers are very uh, powerful symbol of newness, of freshness, of blooming, of blossoming, of beauty. Uh, it's an amazing symbol in scripture. Again, of freshness, newness, blooming, blossoming, and beauty. It's a symbol of springing forth. It's a symbol of the spring, a new season. And I've been, I've been speaking on new things. You see all the new things that I'm doing. I think that new things are so important. And I want to speak that over your life today. Let me read some notes uh, from this particular verse. Um, Song of Solomon 2.12 uses rich, vivid imagery to evoke a sense of renewal, beauty, and love, common themes throughout this poetic book of the Bible. Here is a more detailed ex exploration of this verse. Imagery of renewal. I've been talking about refreshing yesterday. Renewal. We all need it. We need refreshing. We need renewal. Um, the, the phrase, the flowers appear on the earth, symbolizes a new beginning or rebirth. This is indicative of spring, a time when nature reawakens and the earth is adorned with new life and color. In the context of the Song of Solomon, which often explores themes of love and romantic expression, this can symbolize the blossoming of love and affection between lovers. Celebration of nature, uh, a symbol of the time of the singing of birds for their uh, reinforces the theme of spring. Bird song typically heard in the spring is cheerful and uplifting. So it's a time of cheer, uplifting. I love to hear the birds sing in the morning during springtime. In Chicago, when the winter comes, the birds fly south. When they begin to return in the spring, it's when I hear them singing, it's a symbol of renewal, a symbol of something new coming forth. Uh, the symbolic meaning of the turtle dove. The mention of the voice of the turtle is actually a reference to the turtle dove known for its gentle and plaintive call. Turtle doves are often symbols of love and fidelity because they mate for life. Now, hearing the voice of the turtle dove in this context could symbolize a faithful and enduring love. It also might indicate the presence of peace and tranquility within the, 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 the land of relationship. This verse full of sensory detail not only paints a picture on the, of the physical world in the most splendid and joyful state, but also metaphorically relates these natural phenomena to the themes of love, commitment, and renewal. These elements work together to create a tapestry of imagery that celebrates the beauty and sanctity of love, possibly reflecting the intimate bond between the divine and humanity, or simply the deep affection between individuals. So uh, it's a time of love. It's a time of newness. It's a time of renewal. It's a time of singing. Uh, it's a time of coming out of winter. And uh, winter season can represent something where things are not growing, things are not moving, but this is the season that represents renewal, refreshing, that's represented by Song of Solomon 2.12, the flowers appear on the earth. Flowers are very beautiful. I've done, a, I've done actually done a study on flowers. I've done pictures on flowers. The, the beauty of flowers is amazing. Um, when you look at orchids, when you look at the iris, um, when you look at carnations, when you look at lilies, when you look at roses, 
all these beautiful flowers that bloom in the spring, tulips, they are, they are indicative of new things, fresh things, full of color, beauty, and vitality. I pray that you'll experience the beauty of God in your life, that you'll experience the colors of God, the beauty of God, the vitality of life, that you'll experience newness and freshness in your spiritual night life, that it'll be a time of renewal, refreshing for you as we move into this part of the year and that you'll experience new things spiritually. I've been prophesying about new things. Isaiah 42 and nine, behold, the former things have come to pass and new things do I declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. I love this imagery because it's very prophetic. Um, it gives you a visual, it gives you a picture. I do have a, a picture. Let me see if I have a picture of um, uh, one of these. Uh, yes, I do. Let me grab the picture. I wanna show you a picture that I have. Uh, it's really from the beauty for ashes, but it's a picture of a beautiful rose that's coming forth. And um, a picture of a beautiful rose that's coming forth from the ashes, flowers, a picture of beauty. Um, and, and this is one of the things that I've done with the art. Uh, this is, people love this picture of what God wants to do in your life through renewal, through refreshing through a new anointing, through new things. Believe God for newness. Believe God for freshness. Believe in your ministry, your business, your finances, your relationships, your influence, your career. Believe God. Don't be stuck in the old. Don't be stuck in the past. God gives you beauty for ashes. We have so many pictures that we've developed on that. Isaiah 61 and 3, beauty for ashes. And uh, flowers represent beauty. The, 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 the arrival of flowers, the flowers appear on the earth. Song of Solomon 2.12. Song of Solomon is an amazing song. You know, Solomon wrote over th a thousand songs and the song of, of songs is the greatest song he wrote. It's the song of song. Seven chapters and it's a song. Amazing, amazing imagery, amazing, amazing symbolic pictures of what God wants to do. He wants to reawaken things reawaken your vision. If your vision has died, if you lost your vision, your vitality, your passion, your zeal, God will reawaken that and refresh you and give you new zeal and new passion. He'll renew your youth like the eagle. Even as you get older, he'll renew your youth like the eagle. God is the God of renewal. God is the God that created all these flowers, these beautiful flowers that are, that are more than just natural things. They're symbolic of something spiritual. So I want you to receive it, especially those who love flowers, uh, those who love beauty, those who love the, the creativity of God, the newness, the freshness of God. It's an exciting time to be alive as a believer. And I'm here to prophesy renewal. I'm here to prophesy newness, freshness as we get ready to go into the month of May. Let May be a month of flowers, May flowers. Let it be a month of beauty for you. I decree and prophesy that May will be a month of beauty, a month of flowers, a month of favor. Favor is beauty. Beauty is favor. A month of God's kindness, God's goodness, God's freshness, God's beauty, God's glory, God's majesty coming on your life. The month of May. I prophesy and decree it. Release your faith to walk in it and believe it. It's a word that's to encourage you and build you up. Don't forget the power of prophecy. I love being prophetic. We're going to be teaching on it more. And that will be May 15th. Go to thepowerofprophecy.com. Thepowerofprophecy.com. Register. You get an e-book with it called The Power of Prophecy. Uh, study that book. We'll do it from Contagious Church in Tampa. If you're in the Tampa area, come that Wednesday night to Contagious Church and I'll be ministering there. But if you're not in Tampa, if you can't make the live service, then register online and, and watch the Power of Prophecy um, on thepowerofprophecy.com. Go to that website, register today, get the ebook, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be more and more prophetic. We're gonna excel in the prophetic. We're gonna let the prophetic bless us. And this is really a prophetic message that I've given. I've been preaching more prophetic messages. Now I, I can be theological. I can teach. But I've really been doing a lot of things prophetically, even in my preaching. So it's exciting. This is just a, a fresh anointing that I felt to decree and speak this. So receive it today. Be blessed today. Grow in it today. Walk in it today. Um, don't forget your seed. 
on the Sow It Today. As we get into going to the month of, of May, uh, go to Cash App at AJE Global, AJE Global, so a 111C, PayPal at Apostle JE, the number one, and a 111, Deuteronomy 111, the Lord make you a thousand times more, a thousand times more, a thousand times more. Again, I will be at Crusaders Church this Saturday, 2 p.m., 3821 South Michigan. Looking forward to sharing with the ASAP band, Kathy Summers Kelly, prophetic worship, preaching the word of the Lord this Saturday in Chicago at 2 p.m. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for your seeds, your gifts. I appreciate them so much. Hopefully this word will bless you. Read, read Song of Solomon 2.12, write it down, meditate on it, and, um, and, and enjoy the imagery and the blessing of that particular verse in the Song of Solomon. Thank you so much. We're going to continue the discussion uh, in, in, in Clubhouse. We're going to, of course, sign off of uh, Facebook Live. But we'll do it again tomorrow on the port, same time, 9.15 Central Standard Time. And as always, in departing, until you hear from me again, God bless you and double shalom. God bless.